this one of the camps uh, here they have registered and unregistered uh, refugees some of them got uh, cards from UNHCR and others are not registered most of them they don't have any sort of food to eat some of their family members they work in local places to earn some penny here they don't have any uh, access to electricity most of the houses are made of uh, mud and thaws and teens these type of shallow tubules are the only source of water for them <coughs> basically they use this water for drinking purpose and cooking <laughs> This is inside of a little room they have. One of the camps of old refugees who came uh, around more than 10 years ago and they have some sort of food. Uh, they get it from different uh, NGOs, non-governmental organizations and others, the new ones, they don't get any food or any sort of uh, aid from any of the organizations. Another part of the camp. These are the toilets. And there are very, very few toilets uh, where a lot of refugees uh, have to come and use them. water from far place to drink the water this is how the Burmese refugees are stay staying in one of the camps in of Bangladesh it's in Teknaf uh, most of them they don't have access to food and water Little masjid in the inside the Burmese refugee camp in Bangladesh, and people, are, small little children are studying, memorizing Quran here. And these are the little children memorizing Quran. These are the children of Burmese refugees. Uh, they are memorizing Quran in this little uh, place. This is the masjid uh, made with mud. Uh, it's a small little masjid uh, which can accommodate I think only around 70 to 100 people. The children of refugees, they are selling foods on the street and earning some money. It's beside the camp. And this is how little children are playing inside the camp.
children are playing here where most of them uh, they don't have access to any sort of education.